Well, the Lord looked down from his window in the sky and said, I created man, but he won't remember why. <laughs> Fighting the trouble since creation day, think I'll send a little water and wash them all away. So the Lord came down and looked around the spell and he spied Mr. Noah behaving mighty well. And that's the reason that the scriptures record that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And he landed behind the run. Where'd my tambourine first go? That's how the chorus goes if you want to. No man grace in the eyes of the Lord. No man grace in the eyes of the Lord. No man grace in the eyes of the Lord. And he landed the highest ground. Well, the Lord said, No, there's going to be a flood. There's going to be some water. There's going to be some mud. So take off your hat. Take off your coat. Get a hand shim and get your bed and do it yourself a little. And Noah said to the Lord, I don't believe I could. The Lord said, no, it gets some sturdy gold and wood. You never know what you can do until you try. I know the 50 feet wide and 30 feet high. Oh, no amount of in the eyes of the Lord. No amount of in the eyes of the Lord. No amount of in the eyes of the Lord. And he landed eyes to rise. Well, Noah said, there she is, there she is, Lord. And the Lord said, no, it's time to get on the board. You two of them, you're creating a he and a she, and of course, Mrs. Noah and the whole family. And Noah said, Lord, it's getting kind of dark. The Lord said, no, I'll get those creatures in the yard. And Noah said, the Lord, it's beginning to pour. And the Lord said, no, Oh, man, grace in the eyes of the Lord. 